Welcome back to News Channel 3 Daybreak. Well, every Tuesday is part of our Greater Memphis on a Mission series. We highlight organizations making Memphis better. Well, this week we caught up with a group that believes we are better together. Families were struggling and they were trying to figure out culturally how do we get families to change? How do we get communities to change? Dr. Gwendolyn Gavin Macklin is the founder and director of Eagle's Nest Services, an organization that helps strengthen the family unit to prevent unnecessary separation of the family. They are a licensed mental health and substance abuse agency. Part of their programming includes parenting education classes. We teach the parents to be what they want their children to be. Um, anything from discipline to homework assistance to chores, effective communication and definitely conflict resolution. They also provide behavioral and mental health services. We can help them get properly diagnosed so they can understand, well, this is why I react this way. This is why my behavior is to the point where I can't get along with other people. Or this is why I feel so sad. Trauma doesn't have to go untreated due to cost. They work on a sliding scale fee and take some insurances. They also offer substance abuse services as well as intensive outpatient treatment. We want to deal with the generational things that have been passed down so that we can empower families moving forward so they can unlearn some things. Although it seemed like it was normal, in their upbringing or in their families being passed on through parenting or what have you does not mean it was right. That is why Brown Missionary Baptist Church and the Mid-South Genesis CDC donated $1,000 to Eagle's Nest Services because when you can build a stronger family unit, a stronger community is right behind it. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the Eagle's Nest Services, we've included their information in this story at WREG.com. And if you know group making a difference in our community, head to WREG.com to nominate them.